The W3 Total Cache plugin is a powerful tool to help speed up the load time of your WordPress site. But if you decide later on to uninstall the plugin, you might find it a bit tricky to get all the bits and pieces of the plugin removed. This video will walk you through the steps of totally uninstalling the W3 Total Cache plugin. Now to do this, you're going to need to edit the wp-config.php file in your WordPress root directory. So you're going to need either access to your cPanel control panels file manager or an FTP client so that you can either edit the live files or download the files, edit them, then upload them and overwrite the old files. Now I'm going to be using the file manager from my cPanel control panel mainly because it's just easier to demonstrate in this video. So if we were to head over to the plugins section of our WordPress site, normally to uninstall a plugin, you simply locate the plugin, deactivate it, then once it's deactivated, you simply delete it. But you can't do that with this guy. It's a little trickier than that. So that's what you do not want to do. You do not want to just come in here, deactivate, delete. Won't work. You go into your control panels, file manager, and before you do anything with the wp-config.php file, you first want to do a full backup. Now this is just hopefully common sense at this point, that you do a full backup of your entire site files and your database before you either remove a plugin that you're not sure about how to do it, or install a plugin that you're not sure about what's going to happen. That way if something bad does happen, you got the backup of a working site that you can always fall back on. So let's pretend for a second that we've already done our full backup of the site files and our database. And just to be on the safe side, we're going to go ahead and do a separate backup of just the HT access file. So I select that, go to download, then navigate to the location on your computer where you want to download that HT access file to. Now you're probably going to be deleting it here in just a second anyway, but at least ways you'll know where it's at in case you need it. And then save. Now that we've got it backed up, let's delete this guy. So we're going to create a fresh one here in just a second. Now we want to go ahead and edit our wp-config file. So you select that and either right click and then select code edit or just with it selected, come up here and select code edit. Now code editor and edit is the same thing, only the code editor, you got numbers on the lines where edit's not. So I just prefer the numbers. Anyway, come over here, click on edit. And right up here at the top is the code for the W3 Total Cache plugin. We just want to delete from that slash all the way over to here. And once that's deleted, click on Save Changes, close out. So that's step one. We're done here. Now we're done with the wp-config.php file. Now we want to go into the wp-content directory. Just double click on that. Now we want to go into the plugins directory, but we'll come back here in a second and delete this guy, this guy, this guy, and that guy. So open up plugins, select the w3 total cache directory, and delete it. Now let me come back to the wp-content directory, go up one level, and we select this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and that guy. So we've got three files and two folders. Delete those. And I think we're pretty well done inside of our file manager. Now we want to go in and rebuild our .htaccess file from scratch. So we come on back here to the dashboard area of our WordPress site. Come on into settings, go to permalinks, and this is what we want here. So we want to select that, click on save changes, and even though we, whenever we got here, the post name was already selected, what that does is that creates your .htaccess file. But since we just deleted it, we need to recreate it. So just make sure that's selected and that that box is filled in there with post name or whatever you choose. Mine is going to be post name. Then click on Save Changes, and if we come on back here to our File Manager, you'll see that the .htaccess file has been recreated, and that is how we totally uninstall every little bit of the W3 Total Cache plugin. Just to make doubly sure that our site still works and nothing's broken, come on back here and refresh, and we are good to go. That's going to bring us to the end of this video on uninstalling your W3 Total Cache plugin. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.